Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai guys. It could be almost any Hyundai vehicle from year 2009 to year 2022. If you have automatic transmission, six speed transmission and you need to find or replace where the input and output speed sensor is located for your transmission stay with us we'll explain how to do that that transmission guys it's been used on almost any hand day from year 2009 to year 2022 uh, just different size of clutches torques uh, torque and uh, horsepower specs uh, okay will be equipped depending on which engine you have but practically almost everything functions the same in the transmission it's specifically Hyundai transmission that actually has been sold to, uh, to Chrysler and Jeep as well before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. If you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, you can check out where we get all our uh, tools and supplies from. I'll put the link in the description of the video below. And you can actually save quite a bit of money by doing that, okay, uh, instead of just, okay, buying them from the parts store, which can be sometimes a little bit costly. So this is the transmission, we'll need to take a few things apart, stay with us, we'll go ahead, remove the uh, transmission valve body, oil pan, drain the fluid and then we'll get to the sensors. So, <clears throat> we drain the oil guys, now, let's explain here, 10 millimeter, we're going to remove that bracket, okay, this is for the wires as you can see, so we're going to, okay, put those up a little bit, now we're going to install the bolt so we don't lose it, now, Next, we have quite a few 10 millimeter, okay, bolts here. We're going to remove that clip from right here. It's the one, okay, that if you, uh, if you squish these two things on the back side together, okay, it will come out so you don't have to break it. Okay, check it out. You can use clip remover too as well, but sometimes it will break though, so you have to be careful. And we're going to tie them up, okay, for the uh, clamp, maybe for the throttle body there, for the intake holes, so, we have all that room. Now, you can do that with everything in the vehicle, practically with the radiators and stuff, but why we're doing it that way, so we can demonstrate. Otherwise, you will not be able to see almost anything at all. Now, let's go ahead, okay, and uh, start with the pliers. We're going to disconnect that vent holes there. So gentle, because that's plastic. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Excuse me, we'll pull it out. Now I just noticed that somebody forgot to put a ground wire there. So that's a loose wire that needs to be reconnected later. Okay, perfect. So that's why it's always good to work on your own vehicle so you know what you messed up yourself. So we're going to start removing all the bolts now. Have a container, even though you drain the fluid, you still leak some out. Be prepared. Always use gloves. You don't want those chemicals on your hands. So, just gently go ahead, remove one by one the bolts. Quite a few bolts. Okay, let's hold it on the last one, just in case, to make sure that nothing drops. Now it may be stuck a little bit, it really depends. We, okay, we'll go ahead. Okay, let's see if we can gently pull it out. Okay, check out all the fluid that came out, I told you. You will always leak some more fluid, so be prepared. And the oil pan, okay, with the gasket practically, okay, comes out. Now, <coughs> everything inside, okay, is right here, we'll have videos about the valve body, okay, I will have uh, videos about solenoids, where each solenoid is, if you're not shifting into certain gear with solenoid, to check how to test solenoids, uh, output, out output and input uh, speed sensors, all that will be there. Now, that's how we remove the oil pan. <coughs> so, next, 10 millimeter socket, we need to remove three bolts. Here you have to be extremely clean, make sure you don't contaminate anything. Make sure that there doesn't fall, do it in the garage, not outside, okay? Because uh, if 
in some cases guys even a human hair falls in the transmission in the wrong place okay that can affect the way it shifts and all that stuff as well so now let's go ahead okay see okay what do we have specifically here now okay if we have anything else holding on the bottom okay and uh, looks like okay looks like we might need to actually really release that one as well so grab it okay very careful okay and you can pull it out okay perfect just like that so you need to firmly grab the cap don't pry or anything don't go sideways you just need to come straight out okay be careful not to break anything that's the cables that go to the okay to the solenoids gently okay pull it out okay like that now the connect okay don't twist it like that because okay this is not good for it so uh, <coughs> now we're going to put it like that okay you can you can see where your solenoids are located right here we will have a special video that will explain uh, which solenoid is for what you can check it out check it out it's the uh, hyundai a6l mf1 M mf2 uh, transmission and uh, you can definitely uh, definitely see what it's what it's for guys a6 mf1 a6 l okay f1 as well or f2 so let's continue with the next step now so next valve body guys the valve body attaches okay attaches with multiple things here okay let us show you we cannot disconnect this one yet okay uh, this wire unfortunately will have to stay here okay we will not be able to disconnect it make sure you don't contaminate it too but <coughs> we'll need to okay we will actually need to start uh, uh, removing a few things okay and here we're blocking things so i cannot see so uh, let's look at it first okay this is the valve body so this is the spring okay for the mechanism okay this is the one that shifts it practically okay right here let me just turn that light a little bit perfect that's the one that uh, puts tension on the shifter so what we'll be doing now okay we need to start with uh, this is a bigger this is a 12 millimeter that we need to get uh, for that spring that we're going to remove and after that we'll get 10 millimeter and slowly start removing them until we okay get things out now if you have problems with the transmission slipping shifting curve anything like that we have a special video that will explain what can cause that as well so now let's go ahead do that extremely extremely tight by the way so let's uh, get the ratchet okay perfect now it should come loose just gently pull the plate out okay let's see if it's going to come out or if it if it's not okay perfect that's fine yep now you may not need to remove that or we may remove it so uh, let's go ahead now we're going to start in a cross pattern removing the bolts okay with a 10 millimeter now <coughs> so we're going to get a thing to collect all the bolts now maybe a little bit faster sometime okay let me hold this one now and just start okay getting things out so we're going to put them on the thing to remember where we remove each one of those it specifically has a different length so we know kind of like where to put the bolts together later that way we can organize everything okay now on the last one you need to hold everything because it can drop now you grab the valve body with the container underneath you can see how much we are going to get fluid out of here now <coughs> so 
At first when we drain it we barely get any fluid, eventually by removing solenoids and removing the valve body we almost okay got everything out of it. Alright, this is guys, okay, your transmission, okay, your transmission valve body, okay, right here, perfect, just like that. So if you look at it, once you remove guys, okay, the valve body right here, that's the clutch pack, okay, right there you have the clutch pack. You have two sensors, speed sensors on that transmission and they just attach with 10 millimeter socket and you can see this is uh, the wiring harness right here for both of them, it just attaches right here. But right here on the left side, this is the output speed sensor. Uh, this is uh, where uh, the crankshaft will be turning the shaft where the torque converter is connected to practically and this one will be the okay <coughs> the input sensor as well uh, this is output this is input speed sensor so that's where they are in case you need to guys okay uh, remove or replace them on your transmission because there is no need to actually uh, uh, get a new transmission just for new sensors so uh, we have a special video that explains how often you should change the transmission oil on Hyundai and why you should do that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to find this information. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.